Welcome to another year of VASE. We, the TAEA Executive Board, Council at Large, and the VASE Blue Ribbon Board are presenting to you the annual revisions and clarifications of the VASE rules and policies for 2018. Some of the ones presented here are new rules. Some are revised rules. Others are not new rules or revisions, but are clarifications of current rules. The most important thing for you to know, our main goal is for everyone involved in VASE to have a positive and growing experience. This is for all students, teachers, and VASE workers. People are most important, the heart of VASE. Teachers and students are given the greatest understanding in all ways possible. Upholding the VASE standards and rules are just another part of this caring for teachers and students. The intention is to give as much aid, mercy, and leeway as possible while still maintaining the standards that mirror the state of Texas standards along with the rules of most of the major student art competitions. The goal for the rules and the upholding of the rules is not a gotcha, but a means for growth a means for ensuring success through encouraging and maintaining excellence in student artwork and in the school programs that nurture that excellence. This requires both understanding and integrity of standards. The mission of the TAEA Visual Arts Scholastic Event is to recognize exemplary student achievement in the visual arts by providing art students and programs a standard of excellence in which to achieve. It's all about people, their success through reaching a standard. Change number one is about candid photos of students. A type of allowable photographic source has been added to the section on originality. If the source photograph is of the student and the artwork is of the student, then candid family photos may be used even if the student didn't take the photo. The source photo can even be an older candid photo. The key is that the photo must be candid and not taken by a professional artist photographer or professional photography studio. Change number two has to do with disqualified artwork being allowed to be juried. Artworks not meeting the VASE entry and eligibility regulations will be disqualified. However, disqualified artwork will now be allowed to complete the jury process with a no rating status. Jurors will interview the student and place comments on the regional juror rating form for student growth, but no numeric rating will be given. The disqualified no rating artwork will not be considered for advancement to the state vase event. The regional juror rating form will still be marked with a DQ, but the student will have the opportunity to work with a juror. A special note here, it is not suggested that you ease your diligence in making sure artwork meets all of the VASE standards. If you want your students to have the opportunity to advance to state VASE, then make sure all rules are followed. Change number three is that IB will no longer be an automatic division four. There are now three designations that will automatically distinguish students as division four, which is 3.5 or more credits. The first, AP, if the student is enrolled in any studio advanced placement or college board AP course, or preparing for submission of artworks or portfolios for AP and or professional review. Number two, dual or concurrent credit course. Number three, private art studio, which is full-time enrollment in an outside private art studio for a student. Again, IB or International Baccalaureate has been removed from this list. This is a restoration of a rule, number one. This is about greenware and casting. Number one, greenware, oil-based clay, or unfired clay will not be accepted. Number two, all work, including casting, must be done by the student. The second restoration of a rule has to do with teacher signatures. 
any artwork not submitted accurately with correct paperwork having all required signatures will be disqualified. The form must be signed by the teacher of record prior to the event certifying that, quote, I certify that this artwork was produced under my direct supervision and that I have examined it and its sources and found it to be acceptable for students, our school, and our community. I have read and agree to uphold all rules, regulations, policies, and the code of ethics of the TAEA Visual Arts Scholastic Event. End of quote. This is our only brand new rule and it's concerning functional artwork. If the student and or teacher would like the functionality of any 2D or 3D artwork with functionality to be considered in the judging process, there are several options below in all instances where functionality is intended to be considered, instructions must be provided with the artwork. These are the options for functional artworks. First, a QR code may be provided on the paperwork that shows the artwork functioning. Two, a URL link to a video showing the artwork functioning. Three, if artwork is to actually function during judging and display, all items needed must be provided. For example, electrical extension cord, electrical power strip, water, etc. And four, the VASE officials will do their best to consider this functionality when judging and displaying the artwork, but circumstances might make this consideration impossible. Clarification number one concerns source photographs. This is rule one in the VASE rules under originality. All student artwork in its entirety must have only original sources, that is original with the student. We found that some misinterpreted the extension of rule one that was below this rule. The 2017 rules listed student directed as one of the types of source photographs that could be used. The student directed photograph was in the list for situations where students producing self portraits could not take their own photographs. The student was supposed to be in the artwork and in the student directed photograph. The intention was not for students to direct others to take their source photos because that would be a violation of rule one. Therefore, the rule was amended to mirror its intentions. It now reads, Students must create the artwork from observation, their imagination, their experiences, or a photograph taken by the student who produced the artwork. A source photograph taken by another individual may be used if the artwork is a self-portrait and the student is in the original photograph. Clarification number two is about number of credits. The number of credits for a student entered must be according to the current number of credits at the time of the regional event. Each semester completed counts as 0.5 or half a credit. This is the conclusion of the review of changes in the VASE rules for 2018. Teacher registration begins on Monday, November 6th, which is the Monday following the TAEA State Conference in Galveston. You may register at www.taea.org forward slash vase. I hope you have a wonderful, great vase year. Thank you.